Hi everyone, after discussing two typical techniques of text to column, let's now proceed to the third sheet, text to column 3, where I will discuss about two tricks related to text to columns. Okay, now sometimes if you're working with old legacy softwares, they download the data and give you that in Excel where the numbers, the negative numbers are posted in such a manner. It ends with the minus sign, whereas for any kind of calculation, the minus sign should be at the beginning. Now, how do I make sure that this minus sign is posted in the front part or the prefix part of the number? I am not going to write any formula or do it manually one at a time. What I will do is, I will select the data, reach out to data, text to columns, let me proceed with delimited. Next, let me make sure all of them are turned off, not bothered with anyone else. I'll straight away go to the last part. Now, this is just to show you where is the logic going to come from for the uh, proposed solution. In the advanced section by default, there exists one option called trading minus for negative numbers. So I'm not changing anything. It is there as it is. I'm simply clicking on finish. You'll notice in just quick second, the minus becomes the prefix. And now if you use a basic sum formula that is going to yield you the correct results, in this case, minus 4747. So let me press Ctrl Z, just a quick recap. Choose the data, text to columns, keeping delimited on, next, making sure none of them are chosen. And you may at this point, very well press finish because the default setting for trailing minus is already turned on all the time. So finish. This is trick number one. Trick number two, sometimes the numbers may be stored as text and that's the reason you get the smart tag which indicates that the number in the cell is formatted as text or preceded by an apostrophe. Now if I use the formula is number to verify whether they are a number or a text, you'll notice You'll get varying answers depending on their nature. And how does it impact us? It does impact us when we are trying to calculate any uh, computation based on these numbers. So for example, in this cell, if I double click, you'll notice I've written a basic sum formula. Ideally, it should give me the sum of all the digits, which is close to 15, 16,000. Now it doesn't. It only picks up the number which is stored as a number. So how do I, in one go, make sure all the number is accepted as number format and the answer comes out correctly? So I choose the data, I go to data, text to columns, same option chosen, that is delimited for step one. Let me go to next, step two, all of them turned off, next. What I'll ensure is the option which is by default chosen, that is general, is as it is. And if I now press finish, you will notice all of these are considered as number. And that's the reason you're getting the correct answers. So effectively, I did nothing. I simply chose the data, text to column, and I can very well press finish because the default sign general in step three of three is already turned on. So those are the two tricks. And for the third trick, refer to the older video once again. So that's text to column for us. We'll talk about more techniques with respect to data cleaning in the upcoming videos. Thanks.